lot of times you might be asked the question, how do you add hard drive to the virtual machine? To add hard drive, you need to navigate to the Devices section in Virtual Machine and select Hard Drive. Once you double-click, you will have Add option, which would allow you to add an additional hard drive. When you click on the Add, you choose Hard Drive, click Next, choose the type of the drive that you are trying to add. I will go with the default option that VMware recommends, which is the Non-Volatile Memory Express option, and click Next. I am going to select Create a New Drive. I am going to select the size, and I am going to type my own size, which is 256 gigabytes, and I am going to store this as one single file for faster performance. I am going to click Next. I am going to choose the location and the name of the file. Typically, it might be a good idea to give drive a name, which reflects the size of the drive, as well as the reason you might be creating the drive. In my case, I am creating a backup drive for Windows Server, and I am showing the size of the file, which would be 256 gigabytes. This is the last step, so I'm going to click Finish. Now you see I have two drives. First is the main drive for Windows Server configuration, and second one is the new drive that I just created. After you add the drive in Virtual Machine Settings, you need to boot into Windows and complete five additional steps. In Computer Management, you would need to make the drive online. You would need to initialize the drive, create new volume, and format the drive. After you power on and boot this virtual machine, you may need to do some additional steps. Once booted and logged in into Windows, you need to navigate into Computer Management tool, and inside Computer Management, select Disk Management. As you can see, our new drive shows up as unknown, allocated drive which is currently offline. The first step is to make this drive online. To do that, you need to click on the drive area and select Online. Now drive is online, but it is not initialized. So the next step is we need to initialize the drive. To do this, you right-click on the drive area in Disk Management and select Initialize the drive. It asks you what type of partition style would you like to select. I am going to go with the default option of GPT. Now the drive is online, but it is not allocated. The next step, we need to create a new simple volume for the drive. You need to do right mouse click and select New Simple Volume and go through the wizard. I am going to allocate the entire drive for the backup. And I am going to assign new drive letter E. The default file system is NTFS and I am going to give this drive name as well as indicate the size of the drive. I will also leave Perform Quick Format option checked to allow for quick format. In the last step, I am going to verify the settings and click Finish. The last step is to verify that the drive is available in the file system. You can do it in the File Explorer. If you navigate to this PC, now you see that there is a C drive where operating system is installed, D drive, which is the virtual DVD, as well as the new drive we just created. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.